Korean slang and colloquial expressions will let you know the most commonly used Korean expressions in English. The very first expression of the day is 회식. 회식 is a noun and it means an official gathering or a small party of company employees where they have dinner and drinks together to supposedly boost their morale. In the Korean definition, 퇴근 후, after you get off from work, 공식적으로, officially, 직장 동료들과 모여서, you get together with co-workers or colleagues, 식사도 하고 술도 마시는 모임. It's a meeting where you get, uh, where you eat together or drink together. And drink together. Alright, let's go into the dialogue. Kang Won says, Harry, are you coming to the company gathering today? Harry, are you coming to the company gathering today? Harry says, 가기 싫어도 가야죠. I have to be there even if I don't want to. Kang Won says, 왜 가기가 싫어? 공짜로 밥도 주고 밥도 먹고 술도 마시는데. What? When you want to come, you get free dinner and free drinks. Harry says, 전술못 마시거든요. Because I don't drink. Kang Won goes, 배우면 되잖아. Why don't you learn how to drink? Harry says, 아니요, 전 싫어요. Nope, I don't want to. Now the second expression of the day is 노가다. 노가다 is also a noun. And it means severe physical labor or working at a construction site. In the Korean definition, 건설 현장과 같은 곳에서 하는 몸을 많이 쓰는 노동. It's a labor where you have to use your body a lot, uh, like in a place, like construction site. 육체적인 힘을 많이 써야 하는 일. And it's also a work or a labor where you have to use your physical strength or physical power a lot. Alright, let's go into the dialogue. Ki-hoon says, 박수가 도대체 몇 개야? How many boxes do we have here? Hyokje says, 이걸 다 옮겨야 한다는 거야? Do we really have to move all of them? Kiyun says, 그러게, 이거 완전 노가다네. That's what I'm saying. This is almost like a labor camp. Hyokje goes, 너무하네. Unbelievable. Kiyun says, 힘든 일은 우리한테 다 시키네. They always make us do the hard labor. Hyuk just says, 내 말이. Tell me about it. The expression number 158 is 알바. 알바 is also a noun. And it's a part-time job. Or an abbreviation of the German word Ar Arbeit. Which in English means a part-time job. In the Korean definition, 정규직이 아닌. It's not a regular job, so not a regular job. 시간당 페이를 받으며, you get hourly pay, or getting paid by hours, part-timer로 일하는 것. Working, uh, uh, working as a part-timer. 아르바이트의 줄임말. It's an abbreviation of 아르바이트. And here goes the dialogue. Jimin says, 영화 보러 갈까? Do you want to go to the movies? Kite says, 안 돼. 오늘 알바하는 날이야. Can't. I have a part-time job. Jimin says, 너 알바해? 언제부터? You are part-timing? Since when? Kite says, 지난주부터 시작했어. Since last week. Jimin says, 무슨 알바? What kind of a part-time job is it? Kite says, 편의점 알바. I work at a convenience store. Alright, the next expression is 공무원. 공무원 is also a noun and it means a public servant or a civil servant or a government employee in the korean definition 정부기관에서 근무하는 사람 a person who works at a government agency 국민의 세금을 급여로 받고 일하는 사람 or also it's a person who gets people's taxes as their salary or payment all right here comes the dialogue Hyun says, 넌 꿈이 있니? Do you have a dream? Semin says, 난 공무원 되는 게 꿈이야. My dream is to be a public servant. Hyun says, 공무원? 그게 끝이야? A public servant? That's it? Semin says, 
공무원 되는 게 얼마나 어려운데? 넌 꿈이 뭔데? You don't know how difficult it is to be a public servant, do you? What kind of dream do you have? Hyun says, 결혼하는 거. Getting married. Samin goes, wow, 꿈이 크네. Wow, that's such a big dream. Alright, the last expression of the day is 금수저. 금수저 is a noun, and it means a symbol of witness. It's used to refer to a child whose parents are either super rich or have a very high social status. In other words, a child who was born with a silver spoon in his or her mouth. And the literal meaning of it is a spoon and a pair of chopsticks that are made out of gold. And the Korean definition, 부잣집에서 태어난 사람. It's a person or a child who was born in a rich family. 직역하면, word for word translation, 금으로 만든 숟가락과 젓가락. It's a spoon or a pair of chopsticks that's made out of gold. And here comes the dialogue. Judy says, 넌 좋겠다. You must be happy. Hyunsu says, 뭐가? About what? Judy says, 금수저라서. 부모님이 집도 사주고 차도 사주고 About being born with a silver spoon in your mouth You know how your parents buy your house and a car and all that 현수 says 내가 금수저라고? 말도 안 돼! 우리 집그 정도로 부자 아니야! Are you calling me the golden spoon? That's ridiculous! Our family is not that rich! Judy says 나에 비하면 완전 금수저지! You are super rich compared to me. All right. So that's it for the day. And I'll see you guys in the next lecture. Have a good one. Bye-bye.